Here's my initial review of the Camzo X4S tracks on a 2015 Honda Pioneer 500 with torque locker. The reason I went with the smaller X4S is that they are made for large ATVs or small side-by-sides like the Pioneer 500. They're a little shorter, they're a little bit narrower, but they weigh about 140 pounds less. The flotation should be about the same as larger machines with the 4S1s, so I think it'll do pretty good in the snow. We don't have enough to test today, so I'll show you what it does in the mud. One of the reasons I wanted tracks was to help with my uncle's maple sugar production. We have to travel to different sections of woods to work on the lines, to do the tapping, to check the tanks, and it's really handy to get in and out with the side-by-side. -side. With the gear reduction of 50%, top speed is down to about 21 miles per hour. There's very little snow to test it in right now, but what we do have, it goes through no problem, of course. I was a little concerned about how harsh the ride would be, but so far, putting through the woods like we normally do, it's only a little bit harsher than with the wheels. The wheels offer some cushion, but the tracks are not bad. It One issue with tires is the big tractor ruts that are left by the larger tractors ripping through the mud. The tracks seem to bridge these ruts pretty good so, so that you can get through without worrying about tipping over or getting one wheel way up in the air. It just handles it easily. To get back into the main sugar bush, there are a number of logging trails that get pretty beat up with the tractor pulling the big tanks through. This year is not as bad as many years, but there are a number of spots where with the big horns, it would get through really no problem, but it would spin some and dig down in, make the ruts deeper and deeper. So far, the tracks seem to stay on top. So I thought I'd share some video of the side-by-side -side going through some of this rough terrain with the X4S tracks. What I've found so far is that rather than make the ruts even deeper, it tends to flatten them out. I can go on a raised area and pack it down a bit so that the next time it's actually better than when I went through the first time. Today I found that one of the remote sap collection tanks was only partially full, so I headed down with the side-by-side -side with a 35 gallon container on it, went to the collection tank and filled it up by bucket. I actually had to make two trips, but I had wondered how it would do with some weight on the back of the side-by-side. -side. So that's 35 gallons of sap, and it did make it a little bit lighter in the front end, but it still made it through mud and water just fine with a full tank. Steering effort without power steering is really really tough especially when you're going slow working your way around obstacles. Since this is one of my use cases I'm going to add some power steering over the summer so that I have it for both in the sugar bush and when we have deep snow. Overall, so far, I'm very pleased with how these handle in the sugar bush when there's no snow. I'm sure they'll do great with snow. And with power steering, it's going to be a dream setup. They don't dig down in. They don't seem to tear it up any worse. Um, they just work, and that's what I'm looking for. 
as I offload some sap and make some syrup, I have to say that these tracks, like maple syrup, are pretty darn sweet. <laughs> 